And welcome to our weekly story time. It is Tuesday morning at 9.30, and I am hoping you are ready for this beautiful week ahead. It might finally feel like spring. I hope you can join me this morning at story time. If you are here, make sure you say hi in the comments. Even though Miss Karen is not live today on Facebook, you can still watch my story time anytime you want. That's the great part about the FCL YouTube channel, that you can watch me in the car, you can play with me um, while before dinner. You can listen to me read stories any time you want. So I hope you can join me on the FCL YouTube channel this morning for our weekly story time. You heard Miss Karen playing the ABC song today because we are going to celebrate new ways to learn the ABCs. How many of you out there know your letters? Wow, lots of my readers know their letters already. Some know their letter names, some know their letter sounds. Well, we're going to talk about a cool way to learn the ABCs today, but I want to wait for the rest of my readers. So if you are joining me, make sure you say hi to Miss Karen in the comments. Um, it was a snowy, cold weekend again here in central New York. I think Mother Nature just wants to push winter towards us one more time. So I want to know something that you did out in the snow and cold this weekend. Are you ready for the snow to melt or do you want the snow to stick around? Well, we know that spring is going to be on March 20th, so that is so close um, that it hopefully we'll see more sunshine and warmer weather. Miss Karen is ready for the snow to melt and I want to wear my shorts and flip-flops outside. But this weekend, I love walking my dog and getting her outside. She loves all types of walks in snow, so we went for a walk. And I'm getting re ready for one of my readers' birthday here at the house. She is having a big birthday this week. So I um, started planning a big celebration five. How many of you are five out there? Five is a big year, readers, um, that you may be starting kindergarten or um, just a lot of big changes um, when you turn five. Or maybe you have a sibling that's five. So we are getting ready for that big birthday over here. So I want to know something that you did in the cold winter uh, this weekend. Share with the comments below. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, some of you tried to play out in the snow, right? More snow came down. I don't know if there was enough for sledding. Oh, some people went skiing and sledding. Hmm, maybe you found a big hill covered in snow. That's a great idea. Hmm, what else did we do? Oh, you played with friends? Great. Oh, you helped your mom bake. Oh, I love all those ideas. Some of you got to spend some time outside. Some of you did things with family inside. How wonderful. All those activities are so, so special to your family, spending all the time you can with them. Because one day, life will get busy and we want to remember all these slow, special moments with 
you readers. Okay, so if you're just joining Miss Karen this morning, welcome to our story time. We have a very special um, story time on our FCL YouTube channel page. We are going to talk about different ways to learn the alphabet, and we are going to celebrate a very powerful month this month. March is not only a special month because changing seasons and um, some holidays in March, but we are celebrating Women's History Month. We want to celebrate all those powerful women that are in our world, past and present. So how can I show you powerful? By showing you my muscles. Let's see your muscles out there. Powerful women, yes. Powerful women that have changed the world. Now, if you're a boy reader out there or a girl reader, powerful women are important in our all our lives. And I want to show you a great book today that shows powerful women. But let's get started with our hello song. I have my little streamer here. And let's start clapping. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Let's wave. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Let's stomp. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp Stomp and sing hello. Can you circle your arm? We circle and sing hello. We circle and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we circle and sing hello. Let's rub our hands together and make them warm. We whoop. We rub and sing hello. We rub and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we rub and sing hello. What else can we do to get our bodies ready for this powerful day? Hmm. Let's tilt our head. We tilt and sing hello. We tilt and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we tilt and sing hello. Now can you nod? We nod and sing hello. We nod and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we nod and sing hello. Can you tap your nose? We tap and sing hello. We tap and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we tap and sing hello. Yay! Welcome Fairmont readers to Miss Karen's weekly story time. Even though we are not live, we are on the FCL YouTube channel, you can Join me anytime for story time. We have a great story time today all about letters, right? Some of you are learning your ABCs. Some of you know the letters or the sounds of the letters. So we're going to play with letters today. But as Miss Karen told you, it's also a great day because this month is Women's History Month. Let's see those powerful arms. Yes, that's how we show, show powerful and strength. And we're going to be reading about some amazing women today. Remember, we want all of our readers exposed. Girls, boys, we want all of our readers exposed to all different types of books. So we're used to reading Dr. Seuss to teach ABCs or other rhyming books. But I want to show you a cool way that we can teach our ABCs through different types of books. So I have a cool book here that I want to start with. And it is called A is for awesome. Ooh, look at this one. A is for awesome. It says 23 iconic women who changed the world. This is a great board book. Board book, so for little hands, right? It's never too early to introduce readers, boys and girls, to important women who have changed the world, right? Because we want our readers to change the world with their powerful voices. So, if you uh, have an infant at home or a two-year-old and beyond and starting to teach them their letters, we can show them in a neat way by teaching them their letters and also about important people. So we have A is for awesome. So if you have a snack, cozy up and let's learn about these women. Maybe some of you know these women already. Maybe some of you have heard their songs or see their, have seen their dancing. Well, come join me. Let's learn the ABCs and read about these women. Okay. Oh, here's a powerful girl talking. This is called a speech bubble. You'll see that in lots of your books as you keep reading on and on. And this means that she is talking, right? She's talking. It says, hi, I'm Juno. There's a whole world of inspiring sheroes out there. Here are some of my favorites. Ready for some adventure? Let's go. 
So I see in the book, it starts with the letter A, right? And then we learn about us important woman. A is for the awesome aviator, Amelia Earhart, the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. The stars seem near enough to touch and never before have I seen so many. So there she is in a plane. That's Amelia Earhart. Have you heard of her? And I like in this book that they give a speech bubble for a quote that every one of these women have said. B is for Beyonce, singer, songwriter, actress, producer, and all around Queen B. Don't try to lessen yourself for the world. Let the world catch up to you. Oh, I like that. So be who you are. C is for the forever chick Coco Chanel, designer and OG girl boss. In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different, right? We don't want to be the same as everyone else. Be you. D is for Dorothy Hodgkin, a crystallographer who won the Nobel Prize for succeeding in the impossible. Wow, look at her using that microscope. Hmm, she was very smart. E is for the defiant suffragette, Emmeline Pankhurst, who helped women win the right to vote. We are here not because we are lawbreakers. We are here in our efforts to become lawmakers. See, policeman with her, but she was still powerful. F is for the flamboyant and fierce Flojo, the fastest woman of all time. Look how fast she's running with her hair. When anyone tells me I can't do anything, I'm just not listening anymore. Wow, that's great advice. You can do anything you want to do, readers. G is for the groundbreaking artist Georgie O'Keeffe, mother of the modernist art movement. To create one's world in any of the arts takes courage. Look at that painter. How many readers out there like to paint? Maybe you'll be a famous artist one day. H is for Harriet Tubman, the brave abolitionist who helped hundreds of slaves to freedom. I was a conductor of the Underground Railroad for eight years, and I can say what most conductors can't say. I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. Wow. She helped a lot of slaves come up north for freedom. I is for fashion legend Iris Appeal, who proves that her own style is the best style of all. When you don't dress like everybody else, you don't have to think like everybody else. Hmm. How many of you like to wear maybe tutus? How many of you like to wear jeans? How many of you like to wear sweatpants? How many of you like to wear shorts? Right? We each have our own style. And that's what Iris had. Look at her funky style. J is for the chef and author Julia Child, whose zest for French cooking inspired millions. Learn from your mistakes, be fearless, and above all, have fun. Look at that Julia. She's in the kitchen cooking. How many readers like to cook? Yes, I do. K is for Katherine Graham, the formidable first female publisher of the Washington Post. Courage is when you have a choice and you choose to be courageous. L is for Lucille Ball, comedic, comedic genius and the first woman ever to run a major television studio. <laughs> so she was in this show, maybe some of your parents know, I Love Lucy. <laughs> Miss Karen has seen some episodes and she was a funny girl. How many of you like to be funny? Maybe you'll be a comedian one day. M is for Malala, whose rallying cry for equality and education was heard around the world. When the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. N is for the tempest tempestuous and talented Nina Simone, singer, songwriter, and activist. I'll tell you what freedom is to me. No fear. How many of you like to sing? Yes, we've seen a lot of singers in here. 
in this book. Always for Oprah, self-made television icon, philanthropist, role model, the list goes on. I wish you curiosity and confidence, and I wish you this and enlightenment. I wish you guts. P is for Pat McGrath, makeup ma ma maestro and businesswoman. Creativity is the most important skill. Don't be scared to experiment. There she is. How many of you like to put makeup on? Maybe you'll be a makeup artist one day. Q is for Queen Elizabeth I, whose quick wit strategy brought a golden age to England. I'm not afraid of anything. Wow, look at that powerful queen. R is for Ruth Ginsburg, Supreme Court Justice and the Queen of Dissent. Fight for the things you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. There she is. S for, is for Sacagawea, interpreter and guide for Lewis and Clark's historic expedition. T is for rock and roll superstar Tina Turner, who holds the record for the most concert tickets sold by a single performer. There she is, another singer. I believe that if you'll just stand up and go, life will open up for you. Wow, look at her singing. U is for Ursula K. Lugian, prize-winning science fiction author. We read books to find out who we are what we ourselves are and may become. How many of you like to write stories? Maybe you'll be a writer one day. V is for Venus, Roman goddess of love, beauty, and victory. W is for Wu Zetian, the one and only female emperor in Chinese history. Wow, so she was almost like Queen Elizabeth. She led a country as well. X, Y, and Z are for extraordinary you and the zillions of brilliant, brave adventures you will have. Look in the mirror, readers. Do you see yourself in there? I hope so, because you can be powerful too. And look, there they all are. Do you have a favorite iconic woman that Miss Karen read about? Which one is your favorite that you like reading about or listening to? Wow, so many iconic women. That was a great book. So Miss Karen learned a few things from this book. That one, if I was learning my ABCs, I would still be exposed to the letters and the sounds. And the second thing is I learned s s about some important women during Women's History Month. So Ms. Karen wanted to show you that not only can we learn our ABCs, but we can do it in a new way through new books rather than um, classic books that we have used over the years. So I want to know who your favorite woman was that Ms. Karen read about today. I liked Beyonce. Who else did you like? I like Malala. She believed everyone should get an education to get smarter. Hmm. Did you have a favorite? Share with me in the comments below if you had a favorite. So, great book here. But since we are talking about the ABCs, I wanted you to help me with my ABCs. I got a great printable right up here. And w one great tool that Miss Carrie uses a lot with her readers at home and during the preschool prep program are magnetic letters. Magnetic letters can be found at the dollar store. We don't need expensive um, teaching tools to teach our kids about letters and letter sounds and um, other early literacy skills. So I have lots of letters here all mixed up. And on my magnetic board, I have capital letters up here. Capital letters mean the large letters of the alphabet, and I need your help matching the lowercase letters to the capital letters up here. We just read about all the letters in the alphabet from our awesome book, but now I need your help matching the lowercase to the capital letter. So I'm gonna choose one and I need your help. What lowercase letter is this? 
Jim, yes, can you help me find it on my chart? You can't put, point to the screen. M, yes. There you go. Okay, our next letter. Okay, good job. Okay, and our next letter. This is lowercase. I, yes. Can you point to the screen where capital I is? Good job, right here. Oh. And our next one, lowercase. Oh, yes. Can you find capital O? They look very similar. There it is. Good job. Okay, our next one, lowercase F. Excellent. Can you find capital F for me? Point to it. Excellent. Good job. And our next one, this is lowercase S. Yes. Can you find capital S? Excellent, great work. And our next one, lowercase. T, good, can you find capital T and point to, to it for me? Yes, right here. And our next one, where's capital H? Oh, whoops, <laughs> our Miss Karen gave it away. This is lowercase h, yes, can you find capital H? Excellent. Yes, right here. Okay, our next lowercase letter. E. Yes, can you find capital E? Excellent. Yes, right here. You notice that I want um, my readers to learn the um, letters in all different types of orders, right? If I just teach an ABC song, that's how they recognize the alphabet, through that song. But I want them to recognize the letters in all types of order. Usually the first letters to uh, begin teaching to your reader is on um, the letters in their name, okay? Because they will see those the most often. So start with that. If you're just uh, trying letters out for the first time with your uh, preschooler, and um, if they don't take to it, don't force them, right? We want learning to be fun from the beginning. Um, so that's why there's lots of activities that you could use. There, this is a great printable that Miss Karen can share with you if you're interested, um, that we want that hands-on learning. That's why I love magnetic letters because they can pick them up, manipulate them, put them on the board. You just get a cookie pan, right? That's magnet. And um, that's a great way to learn letters. Okay, here's our next one and our next lowercase letter. C, yes, can you find capital C? Good, up here. And our next one. R, yes, can you find capital R? Excellent, right here. And this lowercase letter. L, yes, can you find capital L? Excellent, right here on the side. Okay, and our next lowercase letter. W, yes, can you find capital W? Good, right here. Okay, our next one. I'm looking at it this way. <laughs> this is letter D. D, can you find capital D? Yes, right up top. Good job. And our next one. Y. Yes, can you find capital Y? Right down at the bottom. Good job. And our next letter. Lowercase. P. Yes, can you find capital P? Excellent. There we go. Oh, there's tape behind it, so it might not be sticking. I'll put it right down here. And our next lowercase letter. A. Good work. Can you find capital A? 
Good job, right up here. Okay, and next lowercase letter. G, good, can you find capital G? Right here on the side, excellent. Oh, great job, readers. And we have a few more. X, yes, can you find capital X? Almost looks very similar. Good, right here. And our next one. J, yes, can you find capital J? Excellent, good, we're almost filling up the board. Great way to learn about letters. And our next one, letter V, yes, can you find capital V? Good work, yes, right here. Okay, and this letter, Z, yes, can you find capital Z? Yes, right down here. And our next one. B, yes, can you find B, capital B? Yes, it is right at the top. And our last one, lowercase, U, yes, can you find capital U? Yes, right down here, whoa. So some of my letters are falling off, but great job, readers. What we did is we matched the lowercase letters in my tray to the capital letters um, on the board. Great job. So if you're um, just being introduced to your letters at home, make sure you try different ABC books and um, ABC books that can represent um, other people like these iconic women that um, Miss Karen read about. But I think you're ready to sing the ABC song now because we practice our letters. So if you know the letters and the ABC song, come sing with Miss Karen. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, M, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABC, 26 letters from A to Z. Okay, we're going to sing it through one more time. Let's sing. Nice and loud. Let me hear your letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, 26 letters from A to Z. Yay! Great job! A lot of you readers knew the ABC song, so keep practicing your letters at home. But also, I want you to be on the lookout. Miss Karen will share on our Fairmont Community Library Facebook page some printables of some iconic women that we've read today. Printables that you can cut, color, and share or talk about um, at home. Some of you already know some great characters from, from some stories like Fancy Nancy, Pinkalicious, Princess in Black, um, the Welly Wishers, lots of great um, girl characters out there. And remember, let's be exposed to all different types of characters. Well, it's almost the end of story time, but I want you to make sure that you're still doing the winter reading challenge at home. Remember, fill in all the minutes you are reading at home, turn it in for some awesome prizes. You can pick up um, the challenge sheet in the foyer right at the library um, and keep on reading until we get to that warmer, 
weather. So next week we are going to get, be getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. So come join me on the and the le lucky leprechaun at story time next week. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you soon on another day. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Goodbye, readers. Keep on reading about all those powerful women that have changed our lives for good. See you next week. Bye-bye.